Hi guys, it's Barnaby for Spurred On and this is your Monday edition of 7 O'Clock Spurs. First up today, our former player and now BBC pundit Danny Murphy has told TalkSport that not only does he think that Harry Kane will not be leaving for Manchester United this summer or in January, he doesn't think Harry Kane will ever leave Spurs. He said this and I quote, If Spurs keep progressing, he could be the player they build the team around. They could break the wage structure for him. There are also numerous other quotes he made about it. But let us know what you think about that. I actually totally agree. Harry Kane has got his feet firmly on the ground. He's uh, in a stable relationship. I know you don't, you may not think that makes a difference, but trust me, it does. Alex Ferguson at Man United was always like telling his players, get married early, get a stable relationship. Harry's got that. He's got his dogs. All he wants is to score goals. He wants to be the main man, and he certainly is that at Spurs and will be for years to come. He's possibly going to be a future captain of ours, although I don't think we should burden him with that too early. And let's face it, a big move to a, to a club who are supposedly bigger than us may end up with him being on the bench somewhere. He's got to stay where he is, stay injury free and just score goals, goals, goals for Tottenham. But anyway, let me know what you think about that in the comments section. Second bit of news today, Boaz Myhill, who uh, believe it or not is still a Premier League goalkeeper. He is now the goalkeeper for West Brom, although I think he's only playing because of an injury. He has come out and waxed lyrical about Hugo Lloris's save for Spurs against West Brom when it was one all on Saturday. He said that it was the best ever save he's seen in real life. So basically in all the matches he's played where he's been up the other end, that is the greatest save he's seen from our number one, or should I say numero uno, Hugo Lloris. What did you think of the save, guys? I have to say, instinctively, it was one of the greatest saves I've seen as well. It was so close to him, it was about two yards out, it was Jonas Olsen, he hit it, and it, it didn't just come straight to his hands, it was just to the right of one of his hands, so he had to kind of move and push it over the bar at the same time with force. Incredible from Hugo, kept us as, uh, getting a draw in that game, and I personally think going to West Brom on a windy Saturday, uh, with the Spurs team who are unbeaten, I do think that was a great draw for us, I have to say. I think keeping the momentum for the unbeaten run there was incredible. Uh, Woolwich lost there a couple of weeks ago. And windy, windy day, Saturday afternoon, a bit wet as well. That's Tony Pulis all over. So I think that was a great result, proven as well by the fact that Liverpool couldn't win at Newcastle yesterday as well. Anyway, let me know what you think. Final bit of news today. Harry Kane has given some quotes about how far he thinks Deli Alley has come in the few months that he has been playing for Spurs. He says it's been a bit of a whirlwind, whirlwind for him. He said he's come in and done fantastic for us. Typical footballers talk there. Uh, but there's still a long way to go. And that's typical Harry for me. He's saying how great Delhi is, giving him his confidence, boosting his confidence, but also making sure he keeps his feet on the ground. He's not going to go too far too early, even though that goal on Saturday against West Brom, ball came 60 yards, he just let it drop onto his laces, nutmegged Myhill. What a player we've got on our hands. That's about the eighth nutmeg he's done this season alone. Oh, I just can't tell you uh, enough about how far I think this player can go. Stay fit, keep in the side. To be honest, I think uh, what he did for that goal shows exactly what we missed when he wasn't playing against Chelsea. We never got in behind Chelsea, and if Ali had been playing, even though unfortunately he was suspended, if he'd been playing, he could have got beyond their back four further than Harry Kane, and that would have confused Chelsea, and I think we probably would have scored. Anyway, guys, let us know what you think about all those stories in the comment section below. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel on YouTube and follow us on Twitter, at TV. Enjoy your Monday night. Come on, you Spurs. up there at the end of the season? We... Because of Leicester going up there and Liverpool getting up there and Chelsea not being there, I think 